Hey guys, today's video is a study with me video, and in this video I'll be studying for the AP Calc BC test, which is coming up on next Tuesday, if you're watching this pretty soon after it's posted. What I'm doing right now is I'm recopying a bunch of formulas from throughout my notes into a reference area in the back of my notebook. Throughout the year, I've been using this notebook to take notes during the lectures, so the notes in the front of the notebook include definitions, formulas, and example questions. So to condense the formulas together into a more compact reference guide, I'm separating them out from the examples and copying them over in the back of my notebook. And these are all organized and separated by chapter. The reasons that I'm doing this are one, to organize everything and make it easier for me to review and study. Number two, this is also somewhat a method of studying since it helps me remember the formulas when I write them out by hand. And lastly, another reason this is pretty helpful to me is that I get to look over all of the information from every chapter. Since I have to read through all of my notes to pick out where all of the formulas are, I can also read through everything else and identify if there's anything else that seems unfamiliar to me that I need to remember to review again later. Of course, rewriting your notes is not necessarily the most effective study method. I get quite a few questions about whether I rewrite my notes just to make them look prettier, and the answer is no. All of the notes that I post on Instagram are pictures of notes that I take either in a lecture or from my textbook at home. Rewriting your notes just to make them look prettier is essentially pointless unless your handwriting is so messy that you don't think you'll be able to read them later, but a few other reasons that I previously discussed were enough for me to put in the time to rewrite some formulas in this study session. It's up to you to decide what study methods would work best for you based on your subject and your learning style, but in general, I recommend more active studying techniques, which are the tips that I go over in my video called Top 10 Studying Techniques, which I will link in the cards and in the description. Basically, active studying techniques are allowing you to actually engage with the material instead of just looking at it or rewriting it without really thinking about it. So, for example, for math, the main study method that I use is doing practice questions. And once I do my practice questions, I work out the mistakes that I made, whether they were dumb errors or a misunderstanding of concepts or just an inability to remember formulas. This particular study session, which is centered around me remembering formulas, is meant to address that third weakness since I'm just rewriting things but also to help me further remember formulas instead of just rewriting them. I also use flashcards or I quiz myself on them by writing little notes in pencil in the margin without looking at the copied down correct one. I hope all of my explanations of studying methods have been making sense so far, but if you have any more questions or want to know more, I'll link some of my study with me videos in the cards and in the description so you can get a better visual and verbal explanation of some of the methods that I use to study. And if you have any further questions that you want me to talk about, you can contact me in the comments or via Instagram DM and I will do my best to get back to you. If, like me, you are also doing some last minute, last week before the AP Calc test, cramming for this test, or if you have another math exam coming up, whether that be for calculus or another math subject, here are some videos that I particularly recommend that you watch for more advice. First of all, I have a video called Study With Me AP Exam Study Routine, and in that video I go over the study methods that I'm using for the AP test that I'm taking this year. So if you'd like tips on AP Calc BC and APUSH if you're taking those tests like me, then that video will be very helpful, I hope. Next, at the end of my sophomore year in 2018, I also made a video called Pre-Calc Notes Flip Through and Advice. And in that video, I give advice that's specific to pre-calculus, but is also applicable to a lot of different areas of math. And lastly, I have a video called How to Take Math Notes, which, as the title implies, is about how to take math notes. 
I'm sure at this point in the semester, especially if you're taking an AP class, you're pretty much done with learning the content. So note taking from a lecture or textbook may not be especially relevant to you, but this advice can help if you're looking to reorganize your notes to help you reframe and clarify your understanding of information or to just help you have better knowledge of how to take math notes for math classes that you take in the future. I know I just mentioned a lot of other videos and resources and things that you might want to check out, so if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed by that, don't worry about it, just finish watching this video, and then I'll have everything linked in the description, and I'll link as much as possible in the card eye thing on the right side and in the end screen. So yeah, that's pretty much all of the advice and tips and things I have in my spiel. I haven't actually taken the AP test yet, of course, so this is all just based on the experience that I have from taking the Calc BC class. But if you have taken the AP Calc BC test, or the Calc AB test, or any other AP math test at all, honestly, please be sure to leave some advice and tips in the comments below for me and everyone else who's watching who is also going to take those tests. It would really be appreciated. And of course, good luck to everyone else who is taking the AP Calc test with me. We're all in this together. I hope this video and all of my other advice videos have been helpful to you. I upload new videos every Monday, and I post pictures of my notes on my Instagram at studyquill. See you next time!